Okay, you guys, I want to show you how to make this really, really easy headband. I'm just using a six weighted yarn. I just got this at Hobby Lobby on sale. Any six weighted acrylic yarn will work, or you can double up two strands of four weighted yarn. But this is just a uh, regular acrylic yarn, and it's in a six weight. I'm using a number eight hook. You will need some scissors, and you will also need a tapestry needle. So let's get started. I'm going to chain 10. One two three four five six seven eight nine ten so i'm chaining ten and then i'm going to go with a single crochet all the way down to the other end of this of this uh chain last one once you make it to the end of your chain you should have nine single crochets then we this is where the pattern starts this is what's going to make the pattern go by really really fast chain five one two three four and five turn your work this first space do a double crochet we are doing these in extended double crochets so place your double crochet into there bring it all the way up to the height of your five chain and then double crochet it off Go into the second one, do the exact same thing, bring it up and double crochet it off. You're going to do this nine times. This uh, stitch works up really, really quick. That's how you can get this done in less than 30 minutes. And it's a really nice uh, project that you can use for a gift, Christmas gifts or something. You know, holiday season is around the corner. It's time to start getting that kind of stuff together. So this would definitely fit in that category. A nice cute little gift to give someone. Then we're coming up on our last one. Make sure that your yarn is really, really loose so it can come up as high as you need it to come up. If it's not loose, you'll find yourself make, pulling the tension too tight and it won't, the uh, the stitch won't extend like it should. And this is how the stitch should look once you're finished. Just like, ain't this a really nice stitch? I absolutely love this stitch. This is a really, really nice stitch. So after that's finished, then you chain five. This is the whole pattern. Three, four, five. Turn your work. Go back into that very first one with another extended double crochet. Pull it up to the side. And once you loosen that yarn, this will go by really, 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 really quick. And when you're coming up on this last stitch right here, just go into that last loop right there in between the loop. So you don't have this little edge right here hanging there by itself. Go into there, pull it up, pull it all the way up. I was going to do a regular double crochet, but yeah, pull it all the way up and double crochet it off. Chain five. And turn your work. This is the whole pattern. So what I need you to do is go up. I'm going to do mine 11 rows up. Measure your head and see how far you need it. You may want to shorten it or you may want to make it longer. Mine, I'm going to take it up 11 rows. I will see you when I make it to my 11th row. You get to your last row, whatever your last row is, mine is 11. After you get to your last row, chain one. Turn your work and do, turn your work and then do single crochets along this whole chain till you reach the other end. Okay, then you're going to get your scissors. So leave enough string to go across your whole headband. And then take it and pull it through. Pull it through, pull it tightly. Take your tapestry needle and thread it. And take this end and fold it in half, just like that. Fold it in half, then go to the other end, take it, fold it in half. Then you wanna take both ends and feed it into one another. You're going to want to go through all four layers. Turn my work around so I can be at the other end of it. 
Then you take your needle, go through the first needle, first uh, layer, find your second layer, go through it, third layer, and then your fourth layer. Take it through all four layers. take the tapestry needle out and you can tie a knot in this spot but before you tie it you can turn it over and check to make sure you got all your stitches just pull it up make sure you got everything turn it back over tie a small knot in it That's why you can tie two if you would like to make it a little bit more secure. Get your tapestry needle out again, and then just weave it in, going straight across this back side, all the way down. Doesn't matter how you weave it in, as long as you get it in there. And then you're gonna bring it back up again. And then you're gonna tie another knot in it. You could weave this side in if you would like and then cut it after you come back up, but I just normally tie a knot in it, maybe two knots in it, just to get it tight enough. And I tie it off. And then I cut my ends. Turn it inside out. And here is my Perfectly good headband. Ain't it cute? This is really, really quick. It literally took me about 25 minutes to make this up. And then look okay. how cute it is. This is going to make for a really good gift. And it also can be used as a uh, ear warmer. This would be nice for you to give away for Christmas or anything like that. It took me about 25 minutes to get it together. It comes together very, very fast. Really fast, Crochet. You may be able to do this in about 15 minutes. So until next time, if you like videos like this, hit that subscribe button, leave me a comment. I will see you guys later. Bye.